Chinese warplanes take to skies. This just was given nine minutes ago, guys. This this was just just went up a few minutes ago. U.S. warships on move before expected Pelosi visit to Taiwan. Well, and they're but they're buzzing the strait. They're not they're not in the airspace. You see, buzzing the strait. That's been the Chinese thing. They're rolling armored vehicles down the like they. And by, I don't by think the way, this jump isn't evacuate and get home. People in bathing suits are just making room for the tanks. Look at this. That's right. hilarious. Latest footage circulating on Chinese social media. WeChat shows, what is that? Armored vehicles on the move in southern Chinese city of Xiamen. I think it's lots of show. Like, they had a big parade, you know, showing their, you know, their Wait. soldiers and stuff like that. But, I mean, you never know, right? I mean, this could be on the onion, right? Nope. It's like All right, Chinese so citizens. Bottom demand. line, Pat, you okay with this move of her going to Taiwan? Well, we'll know in an hour. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not joking. I mean, this is... Yeah. Uh, am, I, am I okay with it? Yeah. Let's ask the question in a different way. Um, oh, interesting. For The website of government of Taiwan also suffered a brief outage Tuesday due yeah. to cyber uh, attack. Weird. I don't I think people would realize... Elevated spikes. I, serious stuff. This so, says, so, you don't like this? We can do something bigger. Yeah, so... Tyler was going to say, I didn't, what would you say? No, I just, I don't think people realize how deeply entrenched and how powerful the Chinese are. Like, this isn't, we shouldn't be worried about the, the warplanes and the warships and the armored vehicles. No, they can take down whatever they want to take down at a minute's notice. They can literally stop the economy. I so was, can we, though. They export, n I, no. we are so reliant on China. They, you don't they think will, we have the power like no, China does? No. Uh, under you don't this think administration, no. Under, under a person that's willing to put sanctions and play aggressive, yes. You can't, a Biden cannot play, he cannot play those games. His personality is not that personality, bro. But he that's, can't, like, that, that's different from capabilities of what the United States can do. Can Pau Gasol be the most dominant center in the league and all of a sudden get pissed off like Shaq and go throw around his weight? No. It's a different style, right? right? Pau's a different style than Shaq. But that, that's different, that's... My question is capabilities, you know? No. Are, the Pentagon, regardless, still has the same exact capabilities There's, than they do under Obama, the, the, Bush, the Trump, word, the Biden. Word, the word capabilities is one thing. The other one is when a nation has been buying people up for decades and playing their politics game better than anybody else and getting so many of the major corporations relying on them to produce their products, their chips, Everything, air conditioning, so many. We can go down. You know the list. We don't need to. It's like a pills, medicine. Yeah. So all of this stuff that they produce. Yeah. No, it's the other way around. So, um, respect to her for going. I I'm not sure if the timing is a good timing. Why? Because you, w the, the, this is interpretation. Say we have nothing. Say we're not. Say we pick a country that's got nothing to do with what's going on right now. And they're by themselves. Pick a country. Norway. New Zealand. New Ze yeah. Okay. I was just. It's just, they're just like sitting in New Zealand. There's a there's a podcast in New Zealand. What was that? Was it me? Oh shit! Oh, it's the tea fell. Okay. Say we got a podcast in New Zealand, and New Zealand's like, oh shoot, what's going on? You know, what's going on over there with the U.S., China, all this other stuff. Here's what they're going to be saying. So let me get this straight. Um. First, you go after Ukraine, and Putin told you don't, and you guys try to get NATO to get close, so Ukraine could be, and they're on my southern border, and I told you don't do it, because you want to have a better relationship with me, and then you go after Taiwan? What the hell are you guys doing? When when What did you say uh, two days ago with you and uh, Chris? I, we don't need to tell the whole story, but there was a... One of your girlfriends, and he said the two week business. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It was about. a business arrangement. It was a business yeah. arrangement, right? But why was it a business arrangement? It's a revenge business arrangement. Yeah, we got to get even, right? Let's not get him. I'm not going to. I'm not going right right to get into yeah. the story, but the point yeah. is, we got to get even, right? Okay, fair. Um, you don't think China and Russia are saying we got to get even now? I don't think timing was good. I think timing is a bit off of her. If it's for her legacy, whatever she goes, they do whatever they do. She'll be able to write that in her book. Um. But but I think while Ukraine and Russia is still going on, and then you do it then, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know if I'm... Sequencing is key. I think this is out of whack sequencing. That's all I'm thinking about. Well, I think this raises a bigger question. Do we support <laughs> Taiwanese independence? Do we support Taiwan as a sovereign country? What do you mean do we support that? For years we've been saying yes. All of a sudden okay, you want to change it yesterday and say no? That's what I'm saying. Kirby came out and said, no, we don't. But but I, I believe Taiwan is very different than UK, Ukraine. I believe Taiwan is a serious ally. I believe their exports are monumentally important to the U.S. 
you can make it like i'm asking should we make a case you're talking about huh semiconductors semiconductors exactly like eight it's absurd amount of semiconductors they export and now imagine they stop exporting them everything stops technology ends We're no more cars screwed. no more computers no or, more fridges let's no go, more let's anything, go a different right? direction with that imagine if china is controlling all of that and we people have been concerned about 5g and i'm not talking about the conspiracy theorists talking about health i'm talking about all of the 5g networks have been built with chinese components that people have been concerned about embedded technology in those components that can route data back and if you think that TikTok is bad with bite dance and things going on there and joe rogan said yeah the, the fine print just says all your data and all your Everything. keystroking is going to china every so if you think that's bad and 5g is bad imagine if they control 80 percent of the world's semiconductor production you don't think infiltration is easy and you don't think it's it's a whole different level of espionage whole different level so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one click right here and if you want to watch the entire podcast click right here